Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and it is time for me to share my little Sephora and Ulta haul. Uh, I did buy some stuff from Sephora online um, and then I went to the store. Believe it or not, I went into the Sephora store which I hadn't been into in over a year. Um, but was it two weeks ago or so? I went to go return the Melt Blush and some other product. I was Oh, the Fenty uh, Ease Drop. And I had lost my packing slip because I usually return them through the mail. But I don't think they let you return it without the packing slip and I didn't want to make it a big old thing so I went to the store. And it was so weird to be there. Uh, I felt so wrong. I was like, no, I shouldn't be in the mall right now. Um, so I just did the return and left, didn't shop around or anything. Um, but the, but I got a store credit for one of those products and I went, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go spend that store credit. I went right when they opened. There was nobody in there. Nobody bugged me. Um, I spent like an hour in there, I swear, because I hadn't been there in so long. It was totally different. They brought in all kinds of different brands and different setups and it was just really fun. Oddly enough, they had all the testers available to use. I didn't use any of them because I thought, is that, are they supposed to be there? I don't know. I don't know. Other people were using them though, but so I bought a couple things in store and I spent my gift cards, I spent my in-store credit. I was so happy because I agonize over what to spend gift cards on because I feel like it has to be worth the gift the person gave me and it has to be like the best thing ever. And that day I was like, you know what, just go buy whatever you want, it's fine and you, it's gonna be okay. Um, and then I went and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it at Ulta too. So I went to Ulta, spent my points, spent a gift card, bought some things and I don't feel bad about it at all. Uh, I was really happy to spend those gifts that I've had since Christmas or for my birthday last year. Anyway, let me show you what I got. So from Sephora Online, I got the Sol de Janeiro um, Aluminum Free Deodorant, the Rio Dio. This was a no-brainer because the smell is so good and so intoxicating, but the body lotion that they make is too strong for me. Like it, it just goes crazy throughout the day and it gives me a headache and it just, it's too much uh, fragrance for me. Uh, but I really want the scent still. I have the candle, I have it in my bedroom, I love the smell. Even just it sitting there cold, I can smell it and I love it. So this was a no-brainer. I was like, I get to have that smell on my skin but not overwhelming. It smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream smell. And it's one just like this. It's a natural deodorant and oddly enough, this one actually works. Uh, it works as a deodorant and you can get a little whiff of this smell all throughout the day. Uh, it doesn't keep me very dry like a secret deodorant would that I normally use. Uh, yeah, it doesn't keep me dry but it smells great and it keeps the other, the, it's part of, it's a deodorant and it works as a deodorant. Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. I'm glad I bought it. The next thing, which was a no-brainer for me, I purchased the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. I bought this without knowing what it smelled like because I had this suspicion that it was going to smell exactly like the sunscreen, like the Hydrovisor. Uh, this cherry scent that I just love. And it does. It smells just like it. I haven't used it yet because I keep I kept it in this box and I kept forgetting to take it with me in the bathroom every morning. Um, but anyway, this is just, it's really pretty packaging. I love this purple color they're using for their packaging with their skincare. Twist off cap and then you get this big old tub. Mmm, it's, it's so good. This scent is so great. I can't wait to use this. I keep forgetting though. Uh, this, it's just a sweet cherry scent. It, to me, it doesn't smell too strong, but we'll see once you get it on your body. Um, I also think they sell refills for this, if I'm not mistaken, rather than having to buy the packaging every time, which is pretty cool. Um, and I think those are all of the things I got from Sephora online. I got a few samples. The Ritual Hair Oil from Playa. This was, I think I typed in a code and got this one. It's uh, just a hair oil. I got a little bigger size of the IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. This stuff is amazing. I have this in a small tube about this big and I, I mean, I squeeze out the tiniest little bit to use because it's so great. So this was another free sample. This big, this big old tube is actually bigger than I was expecting. Uh, so I'm super happy to have that. And then the last thing in here that was a free sample was the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. 
anytime this is available as a sample, I get it, even if it's a packet, because it's so, so, so good. And this is a pretty generous size, I think. And then there was also a Hum Nutrition Collagen Pop in here. I don't think this is a vegan collagen, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into it. Uh, oh no, it says marine collagen. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. But yeah, it's a little like effervescent tablet that you put in water to drink collagen. Uh, so that's that. And then the things I got in store when I um, returned my two products, I got uh, two things. I bought the... all messed up here. I bought the Fenty uh, Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. This stuff right here. Um, this was something that I was immediately intrigued by. Actually, I went in to buy this, the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector in Light Medium, because look at it, I'm like scraping the sides out. But they didn't have the shade I wanted. I, also at Ulta, they didn't have the shade. They only had the dark one. So, I don't know. So I just got something else, and this is what I settled on. I agonized over the color. I went back and forth. I even walked back to the display like 10 times. I was like, I bet they think I'm stealing, because I kept like looking at the same thing all the time. Uh, but this is what it looks like. I got the shade Crepe. C-R-E-P-E. -E. Is that crepe? I don't know. Anyway, it's shade number four. This is what it looks like. And it's a plastic tube with this little like bulb at the tip here. And you just squeeze a little bit out, put it under your eyes. I do blend it with my finger. It's so, so thin. I mean, it feels like nothing, like you're rubbing water under your eyes. I don't know, you can't tell how thin it is by here, but I'm going to show you at least the color that I got. And I thought the color was going to be too light, because that's not the shade I normally use under my eyes, but it actually worked out really nicely. And it doesn't crease. It's undetectable. And I put like three coats of it um, to get it to be where I wanted it as coverage goes anyway. Did that sentence make any sense? Uh, but anyway, I did have like three layers of it on. It did increase the whole entire day. It didn't fade. It looked great. I was actually quite shocked. Uh, so yeah, I I like this. So far, so good. The texture to me feels very similar to the Shiseido Synchro Skin uh, Self-Refreshing Concealer, where it feels like nothing. You kind of blend it with your fingers and you're like, what even is this? And then suddenly it's amazing. So far, I really like it. And then I also purchased a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo. I looked at everything in the store. I totally took advantage of being out in the store and being there. And there was nobody there yet. They didn't spray all the perfumes yet. I didn't have a headache. It was so great. Um, and everything looked good. Everything looked amazing. The Charlotte Tilbury has these new um, instant look at a palette out. And I, I wanted one. I, looked, I probably circled back like five times to look at it. Didn't get it. I got this. This just looked great to me. I got the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I had one of these in the past in this, it was called Mimosa Sunset or something. I ended up selling it on Poshmark. I feel like I'm constantly out of focus over here. Um, I ended up selling it on Poshmark, um, but this one looks more like a shade that's going to work for me. That other one was it, like two blush colors. I think it was a purple and a pink or something. But this one looks great. Like these colors just look so awesome. I cannot wait to try them out. And it just looks beautiful. Like, this looks great. Can't wait to try it. Um, oh, one more thing I did purchase online. I completely forgot about it. Let me get it here and put it back in the box for effect. Uh, is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder in the shade 5N. So I kept wanting to buy this shade because I wanted to try the powder as a bronzer type thing. And I love the powder as a face powder. I think it's great. Um, so this is the color I wanted, but this one is in and out of stock so quick. This must be a very popular shade uh, because I'll get a notification that it's in stock and by the time I go to buy it, it's out of stock again, always. Um, so anyway, this is the shade here. I used this two times already as a, as a bronzer type thing like I wanted to, and I think it looks awesome. Uh, it's really light. It looks natural. It's not what I'm wearing today, but I think it's great. I'm so glad because I wanted it for so long that I'm glad it worked out. Um, so yeah, I guess I could put it back. I like it a lot. Glad I bought it. And then over at Ulta, where are my Ulta purchases? So I bought, um, I actually went into Ulta to get a full size of a, a face wash that I'll show you in a second. Um, and then I walked around for a while and I was like, I'm going to spend uh, some money on a gift card that I have. And I, I did it. I bought three things. 
I bought the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I fell in love with this stuff. In love. Because I have a little sample here that I finally decided to use up because it just doesn't have a lot in it. And I I can't believe it. This, this powder is magical. I do have it on today and I swear it makes my face look airbrushed. It's so crazy. So I went in to buy the full size and oddly enough at Sephora they had all the Becca products half off, like the whole entire display. Of course this wasn't there, uh, but online they didn't have it on sale, just in store. Then when I got home and I opened up this container, look how much powder is in here. Like it's maybe halfway filled if I even it out. Like I think, I think that's so weird and it looks like empty and I thought I had got one that was open I was opened it up and I'm like no it's sealed and then I was reading reviews on it and a lot of people get one like this I mean look how much is in here it's only halfway filled I think that's crazy for the price uh, but I really love it a lot if it goes on sale I will buy another one I think this is amazing amazing powder um, and then the face wash I went in to buy was this big daddy thing here the purity made simple from philosophy their one-step face wash I tried this in a sample a long time ago and I absolutely hated it. I thought it was horrible. Uh, and then I tried another sample this past week. It's got to be one of the best, best face washes I've ever used in my life. Better than the Garnier Micellar Foaming Cleanser and that stuff is my benchmark face wash. Better than the La Roche Posay Foaming Cleanser which is also another benchmark face wash. This, I can't believe how much I love it. Um, it's a non-foaming cleanser as far as every time I've used it, it's never foamed. It takes makeup off all of it, all the lash line, under here, residual, mascara, everything. So I, I used all my points, I bought this big giant size, I don't regret it for a second, I'm so happy to have it. Um, and then the last thing I bought was from this brand Florence by Mills. So this is a brand that when it came out I thought it was weird. Um, it seemed like uh, I'm not, not nothing against this person as an actress or anything, but when this came out, like she was a kid, um, and it seemed like it was something like I'm gonna have a makeup brand, and she just made it because she has connections, and they came out with this, and it seems like it's targeted to children, but it's also expensive, so I don't really get the the brand's marketing. I don't get who the brand is targeted for. Um, I don't know, but. Every now and then I would still see the display and go like, I kind of want to try something. And so I bought this set of minis, which of course a set of minis is always intriguing. And it's called Ava's Mini Essentials and it comes with six items. I've tried most of these already. It comes with a mask, which I haven't tried yet. Anyway, let me just show you. So this is the bag it comes with. It comes with a little mind glowing peel off mask. I haven't tried this yet, but I will. It comes with a cleanser. They claim that this cleanser, it's called the Clean Magic Face Wash. The claims on the back here say it does remove makeup, but it does not remove makeup. Um, it says, um, this dewy and creamy wash cleans and rejuvenates. Um, it gets rid of makeup, dirt, and oils with botanical ingredients that wash away all environmental yuck so we can get back to being our beautiful selves. Uh, this doesn't remove makeup at all. Like not even the mascara that this brand makes, it does not remove it at all. It's a decent face wash though, I actually enjoy it, but not as a makeup remover. Uh, this is actually the mascara. Um, I did try this out yesterday and it's actually not bad at all. Um, I wish the wand was a tiny bit longer because it's hard to like, you almost touch the lid to your face as you're trying to put it on. It does take a while to build up. I had to do several coats. They look, my lashes looked fake. I loved the way they looked. It doesn't smear, it didn't transfer up here. It did flake a little bit, um, but I only tried it the one time, but I will keep trying it out. It comes with the little mini cream blush, which is pretty good, I tried it out. Um, the lip gloss here, just a little lip gloss. And then the Dewy Dreamy Dew Facial Moisturizer. I didn't really like this that much. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna still continue trying these out and I wanna talk about this brand in another video. I feel like I'm missing something that I bought at Ulta, I don't know why, but that is it. That is my um, Ulta and Sephora haul, my recent purchases. Let me know if you have tried any of these things, I would love to know. I would also love to know some things you purchased at Sephora or Ulta recently or any beauty purchases in general really. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you later in another one. Goodbye.